If the thought of changing your domain name settings makes you a little nervous, you can always have your web developer take care of it for you. If your domain name is registered with GoDaddy, it's really easy to delegate access to your account without having to share your login information. Delegates can change your domain settings or access your products, but they can't view or change account information, like your payment method and passwords. So it keeps you safe while also making your life easier. In this video, I'll show you how to get that set up. Let's get started. We are going to start out by logging into our GoDaddy account. So go to godaddy.com and then click sign in and then click sign in again. And then when you get to this page, put in your username and your password and then click sign in. And then once you sign into your account, you're going to go to the delegate access page by clicking account settings and then delegate access. And then under people who can access my account, click invite access. And then you're going to put in their name and their email, and then you're going to choose the access level. And you can click this learn more link to learn more about what each access level lets people do. But for a quick summary, um, domains only is going to be a lot of what you're going to give to people if you want them to change your DNS settings or make other changes regarding your domain name. For products and domains, this is going to be often if you want people to access your website also, like if you have managed WordPress hosting with GoDaddy and you want people to get into the WordPress site that way, they can get into it when they have access to products and domains. If you give them products, domains, and purchase access, that means they have all the access of the two other options and they can also buy more products from the stored credit card on your account. So choose which one works best for your situation and then click the invite button. And then after you do that on your side, you're going to see that the access level is pending. So to finish up, they're going to have to check their email and approve it. So they're going to receive an email that looks like this, and then they just have to click the accept access button. And then they're going to get to a page that looks like this, and then they just have to click confirm access again. And then that's it. The invitation was accepted. So then when you pop back to your account and you refresh the page, you will see that they are there it'll, and it'll show the access level available to them. And if you ever wanted to make changes to their access level or remove them, you would just click edit next to their name and you could either pick a different access level. You could click delete and get rid of them all together, or you can also do an account connection only where it keeps the two accounts connected, but it takes away their access to everything. And then of course you would click save when you're done. And that's it. You have officially shared access to your domain name settings on GoDaddy. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description below for your free download of my nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It'll guide you through everything you need to know to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.